Welcome. I've done a few videos on setting up iPerf3, which is a command line utility that you can use for testing your network LAN speed. And it's a pretty neat tool, it's pretty versatile, but sometimes you just want a graphic speed test. In this video, I'll be setting up Open Speed Test on Docker on a Synology NAS. And I'll put a link below to a playlist where you can find those iPerf3 videos. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Open Speed Test, and I'll be installing it using Docker on a Synology NAS. So this will only work on Synology NASes that support Docker. So you want to log into your disk station manager, and I have Docker here on my desktop, but if you don't have it, you can go to Package Center, and then just search for Docker, like so. And then you can go here and install it if you don't have it installed already. If you do have it installed and it's not on your desktop, you'll go up here to the upper left menu, and you should see it in this menu. So I'll open up Docker, I'll go down to Registry, I'll search for the keyword Open Speed Test, I'll hit Enter. I'll be using this first one here from MLabby. I'll select that, I'll hit Download. It says Choose Tag, Latest, and then it will have other versions here. I'll just choose the latest, I'll hit Select. I'll go to Image, and now this should be downloading. You can see over here on the right, it says 12 megabytes. You'll see this rise up and this will flash. When that stops, it means it's done downloading. Okay, that's finished, so I'll select that, and then I'll go to the launch button at the top, I'll hit it. Here I'll go to advanced settings, I'll click on port settings, and we have local port and container port, and I'll just change this to be 8080 also. Port numbers go from zero to 65535, but you typically don't want to use a number lower than 1024, those are reserved for system stuff. So I'm using 8080 here, but if it's taken on your system, you can use a different one. So I'll hit apply, I'll hit next, I'll hit apply, and now it's going to boot up the container. So I'll go to container. We can see it's running here. I can go to overview. I can see it here also. So now I can connect up to this. I'll open up a new tab. I'll type in the IP address of my Synology NAS and then colon 8080. There we go. Now if you have a security error, make sure you're using HTTP and not HTTPS. So here we have the open speed test and I'm hooked up to gigabit ethernet on my laptop now. I'll hit start. Now, if your NASA is doing other things, like I have this hooked up to surveillance station and such, that can also take network resources, so you may not get full speed. I'm getting 960, that seems pretty good, that's my download speed. And my upload speed, about 900. So this is testing the speed of the link between my laptop and the Synology NAS. So this can be useful if you have a Wi-Fi network and you want to test it on all sorts of devices easily, like an iPhone, iPad, Android tablet, laptops, Chromebooks, you name it. Anything with a web browser, you could open this up on your network and run a speed test. So I do like iPerf3. It's a very geeky utility, but this is easier to use once you get it set up on the Synology NAS. It's ready to go. Now this does appear to send your results to openspeedtest.com. So if I click this link here, it will open it up on this website. So I think you could send this to someone to share it. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you might want to stick to iPerf3. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.